Hello guys, this is another Football Manager mobile video. In this video, I'll be listing off things that should be added to Football Manager 2022 mobile. Um, this is a sequel to my 2020 mobile video. I didn't do one for 2021, but I thought it'd be a good idea to continue this series. So, I have a list in front of me of things that should be added and some honorable mentions. Just as ideas of what should be added and what I believe that needs adding to make the game better. So to start off for number one, more scouting options slash better scouting network. You'll see what I mean here. Right now scouting options, all you have is this. Um, and then when you go player search, uh, scout results, uh, you can only use certain... You can't go um, through a queue of like age you are looking for, region is the only area, and you you should have a better scouting system, even a scouting network, where you, you can scout based on position, um, the price you want them to be, and stuff like that. Because this is way too limited for the mobile version now. When you compare Football Manager Touch and Football Manager on the PC, you're only able to look at region, but you can't go any further. Like, here you can, there's many areas. You should have a similar kind of scouting network like this, where you can go via age, um, position, stuff like that, where how you want to get scouted. Number two is new tactics. Tactics has been an issue in the game. They added um, last year a new system where you can uh, choose tactical stall. But once again, it's just the same, using the same format of tactical shape, defensive attacking instructions. They need to add more to it. Like when it comes to pressing, do you want a higher line or not? Do you want to pass into space? Do you want to press on a certain player, like a striker, or the defender, so on, so on. This is too lacking, and with the game adding the new stuff like here, I don't think these perfectly replicate how these um tactics actually work, because it leaves lots of spots empty, like here, like gang and press, I don't know why exactly it's so limited it doesn't replicate like what are you supposed to do final third so on it's very limited into the third option um this is just leagues so i have for new leagues that should be added austria ukraine switzerland and an african league we haven't had a european league in a while um since 2020 with denmark but um, they need to add Austria with teams like Salzburg, Stromsgras. For all those leagues, like Ukraine, you have Shakhtar, Dynamo, Kiev. You can't play as those teams, and they'd be good to add to the game to allow. As on the Touch and PC versions, once again, they have that flexibility of choosing which mobile doesn't have. Especially with Austria, with like Salzburg. And Switzerland, you have Basel and um, stuff like that. You need to have those leagues available, especially when you're putting in Poland and Denmark into the game, even if they're unlicensed. Also, to add on to that point, they need an African league in the game, whether it's South Africa, Egypt, it doesn't matter. They added Argentina last season, but they should be adding... An African league so that you can choose a league from all continent and continents now. Um, that would be really useful. Also so you can play in the African Continental Cup. So next, my next point is also adding Gibraltar. I'll show you. This is a really odd one. Almost in my honorable mentions. But there's one reason why they should just add it to the game. With that being that all the teams are licensed. See they have the logos, kits. Why not add it to the game? Like I know Football Manager, you're not expecting them to add four leagues. But this is just in general. These are all possibilities that they 
could add into the game. They added three nations last season. So it's possible they could add another two, three, four nations. Which would be great for the player base. I know it's not going to be played much. But it's interesting if you're able to take a Gibraltar team to Europe. As we saw this season with Lincoln Red Imps getting into the Europa Con- Conference League. So next on is training features. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think they need to add more to the training options. Because it's not really, once again, in-depth. All you can change is really your um, the position you want them to train and a single attribute that you want them use, um, focusing on. Which doesn't exactly help with training. You should allow a better system. I don't know in what form, but it's just not a very useful system at the moment. Next on my list is Affiliates Rework. This is in my Affiliates video that I did a while back, um, where I've seen there's been real issues with it. First of all, my biggest issue is Affiliates doesn't work in North America at all. You're unable to find any Affiliates playing in USA, Canada, or Mexico especially, saying that's unsuitable to find uh, affiliate regardless of what level you are at. And this has happened for a while in the game. It might be a bug, but it, how is affiliate supposed to work if it's not available in one entire region, especially which the game emphasized in the 2021 version? Secondly, for affiliates, they need to rework the process of gang affiliates similar to the friendly fixture system where you can arrange friendlies. Why can't you do something similar where you're able to arrange an affiliate like affiliates where you can choose a club that you want to pick for affiliates and go along with that. Finally, if you're a junior affiliate of a club, like you'll see sometimes when you're managing lower clubs, you should be able to ask if you're for uh players um on loan like let's say you're a top division if your senior affiliate is West Ham and you're somebody like let's say South End United if you're unable to uh, ask for players from West Ham or they're not sending you down players then what's the point of that feature which I see as another flaw with the game definitely so next on top of that is a youth league. Yes, we have reserve leagues, but a youth league would be nice as well for your academies. Whether this is um, you're actually able to see your academy players um, play, like their stats and their fixtures, or they allow more of an academy setup where you have more than just your typical four or five youth academy graduates that you get to choose to bring into your team but i think they need to add more to the part where when you have a new player coming in uh that you're able to see their uh growth definitely so next is this is a very big one i think that needs to be added it's a fifth playable nation they need to add make it so you can play as five nations this isn't a space issue at the moment because the game's already a gigabyte or two. So I don't think it would take much, especially for someone who's wanting to load all the leagues in the four nations, say, um, added to play in their save. They should have a spot for a fifth nation so that you can have a wider uh, player database and a better journey. This is something that I think has to be should have been added a while back as they've added four playable nations with all the leagues playable i think a fifth nation would make it perfect so it matches touch and pc's version and even then the people who want that many nations will clearly have the space to do so i don't think it crashed the game finally this is another big one that needs to be added as we've seen in the past two seasons, past two versions of the game. Um, they should make managing U21 and B teams available. When they added U21 nations, like you'll see here, this player is kept. 
at the U21 level, you're not able to manage them at all. It doesn't really, it's not really applicable unless you have players there who you want to see getting international football. Without this, this feature is basically useless bar seeing your players get some international time at a lower level. So they should make it that you're able to play at U21 level. Also, B teams is also very important, I think, because it allows for a bigger career path. Like, you could start a more realistic career path where you start at a B team and work your way up into the first team. Managing if someone gets sacked. It allows for a more humble start than starting with a big team. And allows for a clear journey path. So that's something that I think should be I like here. Krunia B. As they're in a playable nation. You could move all the way up. With them. Of course you'll have limitations. As you can't go further than. Probably the third or second division. But it's definitely good for a career path. So now I'm getting into the honorable mentions. I don't think necessarily needs to be added right now, but it's ideas. First of all, I think that more transfer options would be good uh, for the game. Like, you'll see offering contracts. Maybe they should add more installments. Like, if you play a certain to replicate to the touch version, where if players play a certain amount of games, they get paid something. It also makes it so you don't need money up front to buy players. So I think that's a good thing. Like right now we only have transfer fees, sell on, buy back, exchange. Also that's another issue with the transfer options. Being that when it comes to exchanging players. You're not able to ask for players really from the other club. Which is an issue. Also, maybe two-year loans needs to be added because they only have a one-year loan. But with two-year loans, it's getting more and more mainstream in football. They should add that option where you can loan players for two years with a buy-out option. Next is managing women's teams. This is not really necessarily a popular opinion or popular idea. But with football managers thinking of adding women's football, at least on the international level, if mobile did bring that in, might as well have managing those teams as a possibility. Next is 3D graphics. This is not really my favorite idea because I think it caused issues with the game. But if need be, maybe having an option where you can play 2D or 3D games. Once again, this isn't my favorite option, but I've seen it out there. Maybe they should add that. Next we have is editor mode. I think there's a huge issue with editor mode where it doesn't allow for more imagination. With their, First of all, I'll list you a few reasons why the editor needs to be fixed. First of all, with editor, one of the biggest issues is you can't really add players. You need to replace a player and edit their name and stuff to make that player. Why can't you just allow a player to be added to a database? I think that's an issue with it. Second of all, I think another issue with the editor is that you're not allowed to move teams to different leagues and edit league details and so on. That's why Editor and Touch and PC is great because you can make imaginary competitions, super leagues, what, whatever. With with this lack of imagination, then what's the point of paying fourteen dollars Canadian, ten dollars US for this editor or whatever? It's overpriced if it's not going to allow you to add much to the game. Finally. Ability to create leagues. I know this isn't the greatest idea, but as there's already limitations with mobile, but with the ability to edit, le- um, create leagues, I think that'd make editor much more valuable and make more people buy it as people like to make super leagues and so what. Want to make people just like to use editor to make imagination uh, saves. And with that, Without those features, it becomes meaningless. 
Finally, they should add online mode, possibly in the near future, maybe not this year's, but a year or two ahead, where you're able to face others in a online save or do a draft battle similar to PC, where you're able to draft players and then face each other and see whose tactics are better, or a league where you're able to form and play against a few users in a mobile style format. Once again, I understand the, uh, that servers can cost a quite a bit, but knowing that there might be interest in it, it's all, you can never rule anything out. It's just an idea for maybe the future, where it's more an interactive game, where you're actually able to face off in a mobile setting. Once again, you'd want more in-depthness, but once again, that's for another day with these honorable mentions, where it's not necessarily needed, but it's ideas that possibly could make the game better. So that's my list, guys. Um, I have 15 points here that I just told you. I know that is a long video, and I apologize, but when you have 15 things to talk about, you don't want to be bland with describing why we need them. So these are my things that I think that should be added to Football Manager 2022 Mobile. I think that many of these could help improve the game. There's definitely the fan base for it, and I think that Sports Interactive knows that Football Manager Mobile has a large player base. Considering, considering they have like easily 100k players who've bought the game, you can tell that they definitely have this as a profitable part of their franchise. So, you may agree with my points, might disagree, but I think that adding leagues, tactics, fixing affiliates, so on, can prove, to, can, can prove that they can improve the game and make it better for many users. Of course, you want to keep it simplified, but I think at the same time, making it a bit more advanced like a, is be better for the fan base, especially as people use this game because they don't have the accessibility of laptops or don't have the time to put all the, their time into a save on their laptop or tablet, which can range for hours and hours upon end. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. This might be my last video for a bit, but I hope you've enjoyed them, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.